somebody. Welcome back with Cooking with Nana. Um, today I am going to um, show you how to do nam. Uh, the ingredients that I have, I have fish. You can use any kind of fish like um, badam and then um, you can use any fish but I never have used salmon. This is my mom's recipe. This is one of her things that she likes to do. And all I need is simple stuff is I have um, MSG is an option, it's just like a half teaspoon and then salt. Those are going to the fish. And then the rest of the ingredients that I will put on later on when I cook my fish would be um, long snake beans, um, and then some, um, green onion, cilantro, and bee is banana blossom and then kefalon leaf um, and kalanka lemongrass. Those, th this three I will have to steam it with the fish. And then the rice, the rice cake. It would allow the jiao en khao kho. So like a rice cake where um, you will have to find it in Asian store or you can fry it when you have rice, leftover rice and go dry it. And this is going to be for my sauce. I roast the tomato, garlic, um, pepper, and the shallot. This is going to be the sauce. And I will add a little bit of the adak in there with the sauce. And this is the herb that you will wrap, wrap with it when once it's done. So I will show you how to eat it and how to wrap this. Especially when it's summertime, you will find fresh herbs at Asian store. So this is what I'm going to start out with. I have the steamer start already because I want the steamer to be hot, you know, to start. You don't want your steamer in the water to be cold to add everything in. It's better it's um, hot. So I need the fish and the foy. Excuse me. I'm going to put one of the lemongrass, under, some of the lemongrass under here and some kefalon leaf. Because I like the herbs under the um, under the fish, also too. Okay, grab one of the fish. I will season it with salt. Inside, rub it in. And then the lemongrass that I have, I will stuff it in here. And the kefir lime leaf and kalanka. Okay, I did that one already. Let me wash it to you real quick. And then I will. I have to make sure that I do this real tight because I want the juice from the fish. Because I need that juice later on for my um for my sauce. Okay. And then you just steam it. You will steam it for I will probably do 30 minutes. Um it depends how you want your fish or you can do to out, but you don't want your fish to be overcooked. So I will probably do okay, say I will do 35 just to make sure. So I'm going to continue wrap my other fish and then I will show you how to do the next. So I kind of did like 45 minutes. Check my fish. Mm. Bring it out. Be careful. It's hot, hot, hot. Remember I say we try to keep, um, get the juice from the fish. The juice are from the fish. That's what we're going to make the broth out of it. So, I'm happy it looks cooked. You see, salmon, the rice white. Looks like white, white. See? So, now I am going to take it out. Let's see the other fish I have. You can let it let it cool for a while until you do anything with it or you can just 
Use the fork. Try to get the meat from the fish. That's what we need. It's just the meat. Sin pa. Okay. Get my bowl first. If you don't want the skin, you don't need to have the skin, but I like the skin. My mom likes the skin added on. So you can like once it comes out, you can let it um, let it cool the fish down. But if for me, I'm just gonna try to get the meat out from my using the fork. And be careful; we don't want the bone gan ah on it. So that's then I will. This is okay. Yeah. Not to get down, man. This is what we don't want. Then I will go through again the one I peel to make sure there's no. Fish bone. People ask if we mostly um, they can use um, grilled fish. Well, grilled fish when you grill it, the fish will be kind of a more dry. But if you steam it, it's more moist. Okay, once I have that three fish out and took the um, the meat of the fish. So this is. No good. So I'm gonna throw that away. And this is the fish, and that's the water from the fish that I seen. Okay, now we're gonna check if there's any bone. My mom, she likes to do is squeeze the the juice out from here too. Squeezing this juice out from the fish as much as I can. that okay and then bring on the other side of your bowl to see if there's any bone so that's why you have to be careful sometimes there's a lot of fish that have bones so so we don't want to have that and once you know with that gun stuck in our throat it's not a joke so I'm gonna continue doing this and then I will show you the next step. So once I squeeze the juice out from the fish, right here, that's the juice, the uh, broth from the fish. And then I kind of went through to make sure I don't have any bone of um, gaduk, uh, not um, gang pa. That's what we call it, gang pa. So we have to be careful because we don't want that. Once I have that, I will add a pinch of MSG in here. It's an option. If you don't want MSG, you don't have to. And then, simple. Just salt. Because this, you want it to be out more dry. Not like wet, wet, wet. Um, you don't want it to... Um, Make your nampa um, too, you know, you don't want it too wet. So I add the beans, um, the, the long um, green beans in here. And then I will add the bee, bee banana blossom. Um, I don't have um, bean sprout, pungok. That's what I forgot to have. I didn't when I, they didn't have the Asian pungok, the little tiny short one. So I didn't use it. Okay, add that in there. Because the fish, remember when we steam it, I add. 
with um, salt already to make the fish salty. Okay, then let me try to taste if I want to add in more salt. I'm going to add a little bit more salt. Because remember, you don't want too salty. And our last one is, let me mix this first. How cold? You just smash it in. Cold, you can do your own. Like, say, if you have like sticky rice that is left over, then you can um, go dry it in the sun to make it dry, and then you can come fry it to make it um, make it healthy. Or you can go find it in Asian store that have it. If they have like the sugar on top of the cocoa, the rice cake thing, that's fine. You can use that also. And it depends how much, um, how cold you want it. Well, you don't want to put too much. You just, the how cold is bring it to a little bit crunchiness into the fish. That's why they put how cold in it. Okay. I'm gonna taste it one more time. Let's see, with the cup cold and everything. Mm. It's good. So I'm gonna put some broth in there, and then. Half cup and half cup of water. <clears throat> okay. And then before I let it kind of boil a little bit, I'm going to mash this in there. I'm going to have the garlic, shallot, the pepper, and the tomato all in here. Okay, once um, I kind of load the burner, so I add this mixture that I just smash in there. If you like your pepper to be crushed more, you can, but I guess I didn't crush too, um, my pepper too crushed. Just like people to see how it looks. Okay, and then I will add MSG. It's an option. If you want to add MSG, you can. If you don't want MSG in it, you don't have to. I am gonna taste if I need padak in it or if I don't. I'm gonna add a little bit padak in there. Oh, <clears throat> very spicy. So I am gonna add padak in there. Say so if you don't want padak, that's fine. You don't have to add it. You just taste it. But my mom, she likes her sauce a little bit padak in there. For this, so it have a little bit more kick into it, more flavor to it. Mm. Mm. Okay, I think I'm happy with this one spoon of of the padak already. Okay, let's boil up a little bit, and then we should be all set. And then 
show you how to eat it. Once it's done, I'm going to pour it back into my bowl here. There's the sauce for it. Eat with it. This is my mom. She loves to make this kind of sauce. And then, and some people like to add sugar, but my mom, no sugar. The vegetable that I have, lettuce, um, cilantro. Um, if you like green onions, you can. This is another mint, purple mint. I don't, and then some salt tooth herb and some mint here, some cow tongue that you know, a lot of. So, this is what we're gonna have to do. I will have so you have a lot of friends and family to come eat, just put it in a bowl, in a plate. I'm sorry, but like big old serving plate. So it depends how much they want it. And then a vegetable, I will do, let me find, okay, this I'm going to add. It depends what kind of um, vegetable you like and stuff. I have pak kao tong right here, mint, oh no, this is the Vietnamese herbs, it's I would not, I have to know my veggie, right? And this. Some people will have with noodle, but um, I'm not going to do with noodle. With kapoon on it. I like it like this already. So I'm going to put it like this. See how it is? You just wrap it. Oh, I forgot to tell you that there's um if people don't like this um sauce that I this um tomato well you can say tomato sauce with black or you know the fish sauce or you can use um the gel gel bond sweet sweet sauce you can use sweet sauce with it but but my mom always said, the sweet sauce doesn't even go with it. It's You have to go with the sauce that, that we make. So you just have to put a dab of sauce in here. There's some pepper if you want to put pepper. And then you wrap it. Okay. And you put it in your mouth. Ready? Mmm. You can taste the the cocoa, the rice cracker in it, and the fish, the herbs, everything, and you can still taste the flavor of the fish and the salt all in there, especially the sauce. The sauce that you add in, perfect. It combines the spiciness, the um, the roast of shallot, garlic, pepper that smash into the fish broth that we mix and then other people would do like um, spring wrap so you people can do um, spring roll wrap <clears throat> sorry they have you put some lettuce veg um, cilantro all the herb that you have in here mint And then, I love pak kao tong. A lot of people would, they do not like pak kao tong. They say it kind of smell like fishy smell. But they say pak kao tong is good for you. Before I never like it, but I guess my mom letting us try every kind of pak. You know, she say, don't be afraid to try it. So once I didn't like it then I started liking it it's just it tastes better then I'm gonna have this nam pa here okay 
Okay. Then I'm gonna wrap it up. Right there. And then you can eat it with your sauce. So this is my plate. Ready? I just dip it first, but I won't do double dip on it. Mmm. Very good. Is it the same thing that you wrap with lettuce, but you're just using this, um, the wrapper to add it on? One more bite. Mmm. Mmm. And then, like I said, if you don't like this, um, the other people don't like this, um, the sauce, then you can use, um, Javon, also. Mm, yeah, you have to be careful. Wow. Mm. Say Javon, the sap for gun. It's like both ways. The old fashioned way, and then, you know, like old folks would like to do a little bit of roast and all that stuff. Okay, I am going to wrap it up. Okay. And like, this is. Nam, uh, the way how my mom does and and her sauce is also this is the way how she does her sauce. She doesn't like Javon. No. she said Javon doesn't go with it. But it's the new generation. People must like Javon. But this is the way how she does her gel and all the vegetables. Thank you so much for watching my video. Tonight, how to make the lakon.